Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Amanda, also known as Keto Ginger. I am here with my darling husband. Subscribe. Shirtless Dan. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was supposed to jump in and say that. Coming in for a really quick video just to show you guys what I'm eating for dinner and to tell you a little bit about how I've been eating the last couple of weeks. I am an absolute huge, huge fan of intermittent fasting. It works very, very well for me as I am someone who doesn't really eat breakfast. So the simplest way to explain it to you is when you fast, which means to go around 12 to 36 hours of no food, just black coffee and water, your body doesn't produce insulin. So it doesn't trigger an insulin response in your body it allows your body to basically run on the fat that you have in your system. Intermittent fasting isn't necessarily for beginners. It's definitely something that you want to work your way up to, but I've had really amazing results with it. It's the way that I steadily lose and maintain weight, and I just really like it. So to add to my intermittent fasting routine, I do OMAD, which means one meal a day, one to two days a week. So just to recap, that means that I consume nothing but water and black coffee until my dinner meal when I do OMAD, which is what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're having for dinner. It's a really awesome, easy meal. I put a Boston butt in the crock pot. It's been cooking all day. I'm gonna go ahead and insert how I did that. And then I'll show you what we're doing. We were inspired by an Austin food truck dinner that we had, so I can't wait to show you. This Boston butt is going to be the star of our dinner tonight. I got this Boston butt from Aldi. It's a few pounds. It was on sale. I only paid like eight bucks for the whole thing. And not only is it going to be featured in dinner tonight, but we will definitely have leftovers for lunches for the next few days. Okay, I very rarely measure seasonings when I am throwing a Boston butt in. It's really minimal, so I just don't feel the need to kind of measure everything. So I've got the butt in, I've got it on high. I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, a sprinkle of paprika, a sprinkle of chili powder, a sprinkle of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder. I'm also adding a couple tablespoons of the brown sugar swerve. You can omit this if you don't like a sweeter pork, but we definitely do. And then I'll also be adding my beloved Alterna Sweets Smoky Barbecue Sauce. They changed the formula on this, so now it's only two net carbs per serving. We buy it by the half gallon, so I have it in a little squirt container here. It ends up being about a half a cup of barbecue sauce, but there's so much pork here, we're not going to overdo it. The lid goes on, and this will hang out on high for about eight hours, and like I said, it'll be the star of the show for dinner, so we'll see it later. Spatulator. Oh. oh, spatulate. Spatulator. Oh my God. Oh my God. I present to you the barbacado. Got avocado cut in half with the pit removed. Then we're topping it with the pulled pork. Then a little drizzle of Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. And a little bit ooh, of the keto ginger coleslaw. It's kind of fall, it's like a bomb. Ta-da! And that is a barbacado. It's a barbecue avocado. <laughs> When we were in Austin, we ate in the coolest little food truck village called Cosmic. And we ate at a food truck called... Leroy and Lewis. They had an item on the menu that was called a barbacado, which was an avocado cut in half topped with incredible smoked barbacoa. It was delicious. It's one of the most delicious things that I've ever eaten. And to have just like an easy, delicious, creative, keen... 
keto option on the menu was really great. So we couldn't wait to come home and recreate it. So that's where our bar barbacado so came when from. You, when you order the barbacado, it actually comes with bread. And I was like, yeah, can I get the barbacado, no bread? And the woman looked at me and she's like, oh, so you want a barbacado? Yes, and I was we like, do. <laughs> It was, it like, so it was like a match made in heaven. Austin was all about keto adaptations. That city definitely knows how to cater to the low carb folk. So it's just awesome. It is super cool. So yeah, that's just a quick little dinner inspo for you guys. Not much of a recipe to speak of, but I wanted to show you that you can get creative really easily with some of your regular favorites. Like this is a meal, the shredded pork and coleslaw. We have this meal all the time, but yep. throwing it on an avocado makes it new and exciting again. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's delicious. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this little dinner idea. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and we will see you soon.